Hello everyone. Today again I am before you very soon with another topic that is uh, again requested by the MSc students who are having their examination on CART. Exactly unka examination to shuru ho chuke hai. Kab unka ye paper hai mujhe pata nahi. But uh, as soon as possible I am here with your requested topic. Accessory respiratory organs and fishes. So before we proceed it is well known. I'm a Dr. Anjali Shavasta, retired zoology professor, and this is my channel, Adarsh Alia, a platform created to, for the students and for the teachers. So accessory respiratory organs in fishes. As you know, the fishes are the aquatic animals found in fresh water as well as in marine uh, water, and they normally, their general reproductive, uh, sorry, respiratory organ is gill. They respire through uh, the main breathing organ of the fish is uh, gill. They respire through these gills. So these gills are the main respiratory organs uh, formed of, as you are looking here, it is visible here. The, uh, these gills are formed of uh, gill rakers and these, these are the gill filaments. Uh, gill raker and gill filaments, uh, they support the gill, vascularize the, uh, uh, vascularizing the blood vessels uh, pass through these gill rakers and filaments, which bring the deoxygenated uh, blood here for the um, gaseous exchange, and they absorb the oxygen um, and, or extract the oxygen and uh, uh, pull out or throw uh, the carbon dioxide into the outgoing water current. So this is the general mechanism of air uh, gill breathing in the generally in the fishes. Now this is also very evident that the oxygen required for the fish metabolism is uh, solely depending upon the oxygen present and dissolved in the water only. And in uh, that that is very evident that this oxygen, dissolved oxygen in the uh, surrounding water, it may vary from time to time. situations seasons requirements fishes ko migrate bhi karna hota hai jab bahut drought ke samay bahut pani ki problem then they have to change their uh, position in such conditions. The fishes they acquire another supplementary organs uh, apart from the gills to support uh, their uh, decreased metabolism due to low oxygen concentration in the water that is uh, resulting into low uh, sub supply of oxygen to the fishes. So uh, metabolism to maintain a lot of ways, a lot fishes ko extra oxygen acquire karna padta hai jiske liye they have adapted a number of organs or modifications in their uh, in their anatomy to supplement or to compensate the oxygen deficiency in which they are living this is also to be uh, is markable that such accessory respiratory organs are much required for the freshwater fishes Fresh water may oxygen, salt, minerals ka uh, saturation come hota hai or uh, temperature ke badne ghatne ke saath, environmental conditions ke saath fresh water kafi zyada uh, affected hota hai. So in comparison to the uh, marine uh, fishes, the fresh water tropical fishes, they uh, have adapted much accessory respiratory organs. So in general, we can see these are the uh, general uh, uh, statements that uh, the adult fishes uh, depend upon pharyngeal gill for aquatic respiration, but they are uh, they uh, need compensation in the uh, in certain particular times or particular uh, uh, a, a particular uh, fields, particular region, tropical region that is. In uh, such uh, uh, time, the depletion of oxygen occurs during summers as water level falls to a considerable um, uh, degrees. So in these times, accessory respiratory organs enable the fishes to live in oxygen-rich water 
to estivate uh, live in oxygen short water to estivate bahut sare regions hain accessory living ke jo humne kaha estivate over prolonged droughts in dry summer jab bahut zyada lambi garmiyan chalti hain to they are the fishes they go under estivation that is a summer sleep wo apne aap ko ठंडी जगहों पे अंडर क्रोन स्टोन क्रेविस जहाँ पानी में जहाँ पे उनको जगह मिलता है वहां पे वो समर स्लीप करते हैं दैट इज दिस टॉप देयर ऑल मेटाबॉलिक एक्टिविटीज एंड द फैट डिपॉजिटेड इन टू देयर बॉडी विद हेल्प ऑफ दैट फैट डिपोजिशन दे दे कंटिन्यू टू लिव दैट इज ब्रीदिंग इज द मेन फंक्शन दैट इज डन Uh, within uh, and uh, to uh, to maintain the homeostasis of their body and for that conditions they adapt many accessory respiratory organs so uh, this is the two are uh, overcome adverse situations accessory respiratory organs function functionable in aquatic or aerial environment one more thing is tarah ke jo accessory respiratory organs uh, fishes develop kiye hain that is mainly required Uh, when the oxygen depletion is very less in the in the surrounding water or the oxygen concentration has fallen down to us samay oxygen ko badhana to unke liye sambhav hai nahi to wo hawa se oxygen aerial respiration mainly the accessory respiratory organs are meant for the aerial respiration hawa se wo oxygen ko uh, extract out kar sake aur unko either to uh, for some time wo store kar sake ya ले और उसको फ्रिंजियल कैविटी डिफरेंट मेथड से उन गैशियस एक्सचेंज होता है एंड दे टेक द डिजायरेबल ऑक्सीजन बट द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज डन इन वेरी फ्यू केसेस इन सच एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सो दैट वी विल सी सो दिस दीज आर सम ऑफ द रीजंस व्हाई द एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इज रिक्वायर्ड and a system of air chambers formed by outgrowth from the mouth or gill region of those fish that occasionally leave the water from accessory respiratory organ in fishes additionally required uptake of oxygen from the air is facilitated by a dense network of tiny blood vessels in the skin lining these air chambers these are the various methods how the uh, fishes they compensate the oxygen deficiency for their metabolism uh, in short we can say these are a few reasons uh, for uh, uh, the existence of accessory respiratory organs and these are certain important accessory respiratory organs developed in certain important fishes this is amphipus then this is chana this is anabas this is clarius and this is heteroneus so these uh, one by one we will see uh, in the due course now the the most important reasons for the accessory respiratory organs can be summarized as to meet the environmental oxygen deficiency to compensate the degenerated gills sometimes the gills they become degenerated usko compensate karne ke liye wo utna oxygen nahi wo gill extract out kar sakte hain we will see jaise ki amphipness hai isme first two jo gill arches hain wo develop kar lete hain kuch एयर सैक सप्लीमेंट्री के लिए क्योंकि जो वो इनएक्टिव हो जाते हैं सो दे हैव टू सप्लीमेंट दैट द डिफिशियंसी कॉज बाय द इनएक्टिवेशन ऑफ सम ऑफ द गिल आर्चेस लाइक दैट दैट टू मेंटेन लाइफ ड्यूरिंग एस्टिवेशन फिशेज जो एस्टिवेशन में चले जाते हैं जो बहुत गर्मी में सस्टेन नहीं कर पाते हैं ऑक्सीजन डिप्लेशन की वजह से ऑक्सीजन डिफिशियंट ऑटो में सो उस समय एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम से वो ऑक्सीजन एक्सट्रैक्ट करके अपने आप को सरवाइव रखते हैं टू काउंटर बैलेंस द इंटरनल ऑक्सीजन डेफिशिएंसी बहुत बार एडिशनल वी विल सी स्विम ब्लैडर्स डेवलप कर लेते हैं बहुत सारे फिशेस जो बहुत एक्टिव होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल आपने देखा होगा लेबियो तो आप लोगों काफी लोग देखी होंगी इन एडिशन टू गिल्स गिल्स सफिशियंटली काम करते रहते हैं फिर भी मोर एक्टिविटी टू एनहांस देर मेटाबोलिक एक्टिविटीज दे डेवलप सर्ट इन स्विम ब्लैडर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स टू बिकम मोर एक्टिव देन एयर ब्रीदिंग मे बी ऑब्लीगेटरी इन सम फिशेज लाइक द लंग फिशेज में वो दे दैट इज देयर मोड ऑफ 
uh, aerial fish uh, respiration is their uh, generalized mode of uh, uh, respiration. So these are the certain accessory respiratory organs of fishes. Skin or integument, बहुत बार skin vascular हो जाता है, बहुत ज़्यादा, बहुत सारे उसमें blood supply हो जाता है. So we'll see one by one. पहले हम एक बार in uh, general देख लें skin, buccopharyngeal epithelium, gut epithelium, outgrowths of pelvic fins, pharyngeal diverticula, opercular chamber modified for its uh, aerial respiration, then branchial diverticula, uh, जो uh, gill chamber है, वो उसमें बहुत तरह से तीन चार तरह से उनमें मॉडिफिकेशंस होते हैं और उन मॉडिफिकेशंस के थ्रू एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम्स डेवलप होते हैं दैट वी विल सी जब हम यहां पहुंचेंगे तो तीन चार तरह, चार इंपॉर्टेंट वेज हैं ब्रैंकल डायवर्टिकुला के जिनके थ्रू स्पेशल ऑर्गन्स डेवलप करके फिशेस अपने आप को दीज आर द फिशेस व्हिच शो सच डायवर्टिकुला Uh, which adapt, which have adapted such diverticula as accessory respiratory organs. Then are the air bladders or swim bladders, and in the last, the lungs, which are actually, which may be considered by some of the scientists as the modification of uh, air bladders. However, uh, this is uh, dipnoi found in dipnoi dipnoan group, and that's why they are called as lung fishes. So let us see one by one. The first is the skin. In several species like uh, anguilla, anguilla, Phrynus, Cuchia, Mastimbalus, Rita, Rita, in these forms, ये एक चीज और ध्यान रखिए कि ऐसा नहीं है कि एक अगर हम ये देख रहे हैं कि Rita, Rita या Cuchia में skin से respiration होता है तो उसमें दूसरा कोई accessory respiratory organ नहीं develop हुआ है। बहुत सारे ऐसे fishes हैं जो एक से ज्यादा तरीकों से एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स उन्होंने डेवलप किया है टू सप्लीमेंट देयर ऑक्सीजन डेफिशिएंसी सो लेट अस कम टू आवर मेन टॉपिक दैट इज स्किन स्किन इट इज अंडरस्टूड आप इमेजिन ही कर सकते हैं कि स्किन को के थ्रू अगर ऑक्सीजन एक्सट्रैक्ट करना है तो स्किन स्केलेस होना होगा सो ऐसे फिशेस में स्किन स्केलेस होता है The mucus glands are well developed to secrete the mucus. This ki vajay se mucus ki vajay se dampness um, uh, uh, maintain kiya jata hai. And the fishes move up, move out of water, migrate on land. Ye one of the reasons for this uh, integumentary respiration may be ho sakta hai. These are the reasons uh, move out of land during migration through damp vegetation. In uh, uh, such conditions, the skin becomes highly vascular. हमेशा गैशियस एक्सचेंज के लिए जो सबसे पहला रिक्वायरमेंट है दैट इज द द मीडियम थ्रू विच द द ऑक्सीजन कैन बी एक्सट्रैक्टेड इनसाइड द बॉडी एंड एक्सट्रैक्टेड आउटसाइड द बॉडी बाहर निकालने के लिए कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड निकालना होता है और अंदर ऑक्सीजन लेना होता है जिसको कि थ्रू सर्टेन मीडियम दैट इज मेनली द ब्लड इट रीच इज द ऑर्गन एंड टिश्यूज एंड सेल्स टू प्रोवाइड एनर्जी टू वर्क so that is well known so the first is the skin then the gills are also uh, uh, some uh, of the gills uh, serve as site of gas exchange out of water gills normally uh, respiratory organs have fishes okay? but sometimes as required by the time they these gills also serve as the accessory respiratory organs that they come uh, when the fish comes out of water for a short duration the gills uh, they may act as uh, the accessory respiratory organ and they can secrete uh, as by secreting large amount of mucus to keep them moist to continue the gas exchange for some time when fish is out of water example is in uh, rita rita kabhi kabhi gills aerial exchange may be help karte hain so then the second is the buccopharyngeal epithelium Buccopharyngeal epithelium is the in, uh, internal uh, epithelium lining of the uh, buccal cavity as well as the pharyngeal cavity. Buccal uh, cavity, uh, agar aapko anatomy yaad ho, to buccal cavity mein, uh, um, uh, that is called as the mouth cavity that continues into the pharyngeal cavity through an opening that is called as uh, glottis. Or ye do openings hoti hai, jo ek respiration ke liye 
جاتا ہے ان ہائر فارم زیادہ یہ ڈیولپ ہوتے ہیں لوور فارم ناٹ سو مچ ڈیولپ بٹ اسٹل دا فیرنجیل اوپننگ کالڈ ایز دا گلوٹس ہیونگ ٹو اوپننگس ون از دا گلوٹس دیٹ اوپنس ان ٹو دا ریسپریٹری سسٹم اینڈ اینڈر از دا گلیٹ دیٹ اوپنس ان ٹو دا گٹ دٹس ڈفرینسیشن از ناٹ سو مچ ایفیشینٹ ان فشیز اینڈ there are several modifications in this buccopharyngeal cavity that brings that aids in the aerial mode of respiration acting as accessory respiratory system this uh, for this purpose there becomes the pharyngeal, pharyngeal cavity becomes uh, highly vascular raised into fold plates or tongue like structures projecting into the buccopharyngeal cavity to form an efficient respiratory organ. The examples are periophthalmus, boliophthalmus, amphipnus, electrophorus, chana, etc. In more advanced condition in chana species, suprabranchial cavities are formed in the roof of the pharynx. We'll soon see the diagram in suprabranchial uh, cavity is formed in uh, chana. Uh, or we can see here over here, but these in this diagram also suprabranchial uh, cavity this is the suprabranchial cavity ye uh, gill or uh, kt upar ek uh, special branchial cavity develop ho jati hai which becomes highly vascular and it helps in accessory respiratory system this is jana this is the suprabranchial uh, cavity you must be looking here this is the suprabranchial cavity this is the suprabranchial uh, cavity that develops as a uh, uh, act these are the air sacs uh, developing and acting as arborescent organs that we will see that is another uh, accessory respiratory system uh, organ so uh, uh, we were in uh, the buccopharyngeal region the the suprabranchial cavities have alveoli and open antero ventral ventrally into the buc buccopharynx and postero ventrally into the opercular cavity the suprabranchial cavities have alveoli structures jo help karte hain uh, air ko extract karne mein open antero ventrally aage ki taraf khulte hain uh, into the open an antero ventrally into the buccopharynx aage ki taraf buccopharynx mein khulte hain jo buccopharyngeal cavity hai usme khulte hain and posteriorly they open into the opercular cavity piche ki taraf opercular cavity jisme ki gills lodged hote hain unme khulte hain so this is the third method then the fourth uh, important uh, uh, organs are gut epithelium gut ka elementary canal ka jo epithelium hai jo internal lining hai وہ بہت بار ویریس کئی طریقوں سے ماڈیفائی ہو کر کے ویسکولرائزڈ ہو جاتی ہے ماڈیفائی ہو جاتی ہے انٹرنل فولڈنگس بڑھ جاتے ہیں اینڈ ان دس وے دے کین انکریز دیئر انٹرنل سرفیس ٹو ابزارو مچ آکسیجن فرام دا ڈیزالونگ واٹر اور سم ٹائمس ایون کمنگ آؤٹ آف واٹر ان ٹو دا فرام دا ایئر ناؤ دیر آر ٹو امپورٹنٹ ٹائپ آف modifications are found in gut epithelium in stomach and in intestine the gut epithelium in intestine and also in rectum that there is a third type of uh, uh, gut epithelium that modifies c is rectal epithelium also modifies in some of the forms that uh, also acts as the accessory respiratory organ that is in calyctus this uh, the rectal epithelium becomes modified so all in all these forms these uh, the elementary canal ka koi bhi part differently modify ho jata hai folding and folding so jate hain highly vascular ho jata hai are or ye uh, modifications help karte hain fishes ko uh, hawa se oxygen extract karne mein and Uh, collectively they are called as gut air breather fishes gab fishes then uh, they, uh, these are important uh, forms stomach uh, modify hota hai and loricaridae these are the cat fishes that is uh, of order saluriformis and then in intestine they are the true loaches order cypriniformis they having the barbels 
Then are the rectal modifications found in calyxis. Rectal modifications are found in, sorry, that is C A L L I C H E H Y E C, calyxis. So these are the three types of modifications stomach, cabal, internal epithelium, both highly uh, enfolded, outfolded, or uh, it uh, forms the, uh, it becomes highly vascular. Sometimes intestinal wall becomes uh, highly vascular and it sometimes in very few cases, rectal epithelium also modifies. When gut segments involved into air breathing organ, now uh, these gut segments, they evolve into air breathing organs. They, they convert themselves into all their portions, not entirely, if not that, their portions uh, uh, evolve as uh, air breathing organ. There is generally a specialized reason for exchange of gases where the gut wall has diminished, vascularization has increased. This is to be noted that gut wall diminishes the gut wall, which are thick layers of the epithelium ke, uh, gut wall. Ke, they are diminished. Kafi uh, degenerative ho jate hai, thin ho jate hai gut wall. Or vascularization, blood vessels, blood capillaries ka supplementation. Ho jata hai. Capillaries have penetrated into the luminal epithelium. This specialized organ is separated from digestive portion of gut by sphincters. Sphincters special type of valves develop hote hai, jinke se, ye jo digestive, uh, ye da, digestive portion and digestive gut hai, iska koi portion agar evolve ho jata hai. So it, here the sphincters develop. And with the help of these sphincters, this uh, area, which has evolved for respiration, this is uh, separated from the main gut. Now, uh, gut ABOs are generally used for oxygen uptake. Carbon dioxide elimination seems to occur via the gills and skin in all GAB fishes. Abhi tak jitna study kiya gaya hai, as I have already told you, oxygen intake ke liye gut epithelium May zada adaptations hue hai. oxygen out uh, to throw oxy carbon dioxide carbon dioxide eliminate karne ke liye, jo normal uh, process se gills ke through hi outgoing water current ke saathi carbon dioxide eliminate hota hai aur kabhi kabhi skin ke through bhi elimination hota hai that is extraction out of the carbon dioxide is done then is the modification of wall of stomach and intestine for aerial respiration now the there are uh, the wall becomes extremely thin, thin and transparent due to great reduction of muscle layer. Inner layer of wall consists of single layer of epithelial cell richly supplied with uh, uh, capillaries. Mucus secreting cells and gland cells are absent here. Pura musculature is very thin, completely degenerate. And this is a membrane with high vascularization so that is rather more water uh, um, oxygen extract out kar sake. Air is swallowed and forced into elementary canal with where it is stored for some time. Elementary canal mein ye thodi deir ke liye rehta hai. Wahi se uh, desired oxygen extract out karte hai organs. And uh, after the gaseous exchange, air is passed out through anus or expelled by mouth in loaches. Now, uh, the, the water, uh, the oxygen is intake in either through mouth or through anus in different cases, but the, uh, the expelled carbon dioxide is done by mouth on the modified parts of intensive serve for both digestive and respiratory functions. The digestive and respiratory phase may alternate at short intervals or the elementary canal function as air breathing organ during some summer and is non-respiratory during winter. जब पानी कम है, ऑक्सीजन कम मिल रहा है, तो बहुत बार ऑब्लिगेटरी फैकल्टेटिव चेंजेस भी हो सकते हैं, फिशेस कैन शो। जरूरत है, तो वो डाइजेस्टिव पार्ट का डाइजेस्टिव कनाल का एलिमेंट्री कनाल के कुछ पार्ट्स अपने आप को कन्वर्ट कर लेते हैं, एयर ब्रीडिंग के लिए, हवा से ऑक्सीजन एक्सट्रैक्ट uh, the uh, karne lagte digestive work ki karna lagta hai elementary canal ke wo sare parts so that is 
uh, the, uh, depends upon the condition. Now, there are various types of modifications in wall of stomach and intestine for aerial respiration. The wall becomes thin. This, these we have already seen. Uh, seen. Now, the outgrowth of uh, the fourth type is outgrowth of pelvic fins. This is uh, found in specifically in Lepidosiren, that is American lungfish. And this is uh, season dependent hai. that is in uh, it is found in male lepidosiren or the american lungfish this may this is uh, it is uh, visible here this pelvic fin has become highly vascularized in uh, during a uh, breeding season uh, at the time of breeding seasons when the female lays eggs this uh, male lepidosiren or american lungfish it develops its uh, pelvic fin as highly vascularized and this vascularized with the help of this, it uh, it uh, folds itself around the the eggs laid by the female. These are the eggs. It uh, surrounds these eggs in such a way that the pelvic fin becomes the. These are the eggs developing egg, and this is uh, see. This, this, these, this is the pelvic fin, highly vascularized pelvic fin that is providing the oxygen. This is the pelvic fin, which becomes highly vascularized and it provides oxygen to these developing eggs during the breeding season. So this is a very peculiar case of uh, accessory respiratory system that provides oxygen to the developing eggs uh, by surrounding the male surrounds itself around the developing eggs and it's uh, highly vascularized pelvic fin uh, provides oxygen to the developing uh, eggs then the pharyngeal diverticula pharyngeal di pharynx um, uh, is the uh, is the uh, anterior most part of the elementary canal we can see after the, the buccal cavity uh, or the mouth cavity opens into the uh, pharynx as we have seen the openings hoti hai gut mein jata hai dusra uh, respiratory system mein jata hai wo jo pharyngeal region hai that becomes Differently, बहुत तरीकों से वो modified हो जाता है कभी वो supra-branchial chamber में convert होता है uh, कभी वो particular sac में either of, uh, of on the uh, two walls both दोनों तरफ के left and right uh, uh, pharyngeal wall converts into the pharyngeal diverticula or sometimes in uh, um, in some of the fishes a single uh, air sac develops into the pharyngeal uh, from the pharynx, uh, pharyngeal uh, wall, and those uh, extensions are uh, called as diverticula. Now, this is the example Amphipnus uh, cuchia, that is uh, in a uh, is a bimodal breeder. Do se ye breed karta hai. The respiratory gas exchange takes place in a pair of specialized air sacs extending from the pharyngeal cavity. This is the specialized air sac, and this is the pharyngeal cavity that opens into this. Uh, uh, that uh, develops into that continues into this air sac. This is the air sac. This is air sac that has uh, that uh, uh, the air is stored here for the gaseous exchange. Uh, aquatic and aerial gas exchange also takes place in vestigial gills across buccopharyngeal surfaces and in the skin. The gills are reduced and only second art bears filament while third has fleshy vascular membrane is uh, amphipnus mein aur is tarah ke kuchia uh, mein aur kuch aur fishes mein like in chana also the the fish uh, the gill uh, filaments they as we have already uh, seen bahut sare uh, gill filaments reduce ho jate hain aur unko supplement karne ke liye vascular sac ki membrane develop kar lete hain pharyngeal air sac develop ho jate hain and these uh, accessory organs they help in uh, the, uh, the uh, they help in uh, restoring or gaining the excess of oxygen required from the air it is in form of small and smooth diverticulum extending above gill pouch air is drawn in this diverticulum so uh, the point wise for your note you can go through the slides because if 
each and every slide we will discuss in so much detail it will take a lot of time so uh, the details it is well i have prepared the uh, ppt in such a way that you can well prepare or note taking the points from these uh, slides now the accessory organs now let us see the pharyngeal diverticula alag alag fishes mein kis kis tarah se develop hote hain aur kis kis tarah accessory respiration mein help karte hain one we have seen in case of uh, uh, accessory respiratory organ in amphipnus some we have seen pharyngeal diverticula in simple air in form of simple air sacs now see in chana in chana uh, this uh, pharyngeal diverticula helps in uh, uh, this uh, uh, it develops into a supra branchial cavity into which the opercular cavity diverticulum develops and this serves for aerial respiration then this in this opercular chamber opercular chamber is the chamber where the gills are lodged it is in uh, the one part of the pharynx itself the opercular chamber large and extends below the branchials basi branchials above the gill arches gill arches ke basi branchials ke upar rehte hain opercular chamber the epithelial lining of opercular chamber thin and highly vascular opercular bones are thin and elastic efficient mechanism evolved for closing and opening of inhalant and exhalant chambers see here this is the inhalation and exhalation ke liye bones uh, efficiently uh, develop hote hain aur bahut elastical hote hain lachile hote hain taki jab pani andar aaye to ye khul sake aur uh, jab pani ko bahar nikalna ho to ye uh, pressure exert kar sake so this is the uh, how the water is entering this is the inhalation air is uh, water is going through and air is going through and this is the exhalation the the uh, buccal cavity supra branchial cavity and gills of chana after removal so the uh, the opercular uh, apparatus has been completely uh, exhaled this is the exhalation uh, the water is uh, uh, the sorry the exhalation the gas is uh, thrown out this is exhalation and this is the inhalation the it is uh, withdrawn this is the bucco pharyngeal cavity this is the buccal region and this is the pharyngeal region this is bucco pharyngeal cavity you can see well uh, here in um, chana now uh, so uh, this is how the in chana the bucco pharyngeal cavity uh, acts as uh, an accessory respiratory organ now Uh, these are all the diagrams showing these are the hyoid uh, hyoid arch or the bone that is also called as sublingual bone that helps in this is the swim bladder actually this is additional we will see this and when we will do the swim bladder uh, part of the accessory uh, uh, respiratory organ it is uh, you, it, it it don't consider here now we will see it later this is uh, the uh, in snake head or of family chana this is also part of a uh, sort of chana jisme ye gill arch hai ye gill rakers hai ye hyoid uh, mandibular process hai that is the sublingual uh, bone uh, or tongue bone it is also called as in higher forms and this is supra branchial chamber here you must be looking the supra branchial chamber is here this is the supra branchial chamber and ap branchial respiratory fold this, these are the respiratory folds that are vascularized that help in uh, aerial gaseous exchange the and this is the normal gill raker and gill this is the uh, here is the normal uh, gill uh, the general structure of gill filaments this is the hyoid uh, bone that is supporting both this cavity where the it is, this cham chamber is open and the uh, the gaseous exchange takes place so then the branchial diverticula that uh, this these branchial diverticula may be of different types this uh, the branchial uh, region that shows that is variously modified into the different types of uh, diverticula to uh, develop the excess of uh, to uh, develop the uh, the reasons or the areas or the sac like structures for the storage of uh, the air फ्रॉम जिस एयर से ऑक्सीजन को एक्सट्रैक्ट किया जा सके इन द इंटरनल टिश्यूज दे एक्सट्रैक्ट इन 
the oxygen for their metabolic activities. These are of various types in different fishes. In heteropneus fossilis, the tubular diverticula are developed. This is the, uh, you can see here, the, uh, these are the barbs. This is uh, the hetero, this is the normal gill region, and this is the tubular air sac. Tube ki tarak air sac develop hota hai pharyngeal gill chamber mein, aur ye bilkul piche extend karta hai up to the uh, uh, caudal region. Caudal region mein almost end tak ye extend karta hai. Ye esophagus ke thik upper jata hai. This is the alimentary canal. Alimentary canal ke thik upper run karta hai. This is the alimentary canal. This is the gut, and uh, above this it runs. Till the caudal region. Caudal region tak ye extend karta hai, is my air store hota hai. And these are the paired structure that we will see. Uh, I'll uh, show you uh, in the next uh, slide. Uh, this is the paired structure posteriorly on each side from suprabranchial chamber. This is the suprabranchial chamber. On the opercular cavity extending up to the middle of the caudal region, these sacs are thin walled, tubular, and highly vascular. This is uh, two air sacs, fan, and respiratory um, membranes are involved. This is the uh, this is uh, the uh, branchial diverticula in form of tubular diverticula in heteropneus. Then branchial diverticula are found in anabas in form of specifically developed organs that are called as labyrinthine organ. This is the labyrinthine organ. Ye, uh, labyrinthine organ, it may be one, it may be one pair. This is the suprabranchial cavity, this is the gill, or gill ke side se, gill ke, kuch gill ke, ke filament se, additional is tarah se uh, extension so sakte hain, outgrowth so jate hain, and uh, these uh, form the variously branched uh, or variously folded structures called as the labyrinthine organ uh, on each side. Uh, in trichogaster, it is a single, this labyrinthine organ, but here it is in anabas, it is uh, also commonly called as the climbing perch. It is a paired structure. It lies between first gill arch and hyomandibular bone and opens into the buccopharyngeal and opercular cavity epithelial lining. This is, uh, we will see in the uh, next uh, slide. This, this is, this you can see in the buccopharyngeal uh, chamber, we will see in the next slide. Here we will see, uh, let us come first. A well-developed labyrinthine organ is present on first gill arch, develops from first epibranchial and consists of three concentric bony plates. This is the labyrinthine organ of uh, the anabas, here, this, these are, this is the first gill arch. Here, respiratory fan ki ka structure develop ho raha. This is the respiratory fan. This is respiratory membrane. And the, this is the gill. These are the general gill. Yahan isse outgrowth ho karke ye respiratory fan ban raha hai. These are the gills. This, the, this, these gills, these gill arches are uh, showing outgrowths forming the respiratory fan. And in more advanced uh, stages, these uh, respiratory fan, apart, uh, in some cases, these respiratory fan are much folded in folded in form of arborescent dendritic organs called as arborescent organ. And below here is the respiratory fan. So these all, they help in, uh, they provide much surface. These folding and folding are providing much space for the air to be stored for some time, of course, it will be stored for some time, and a gaseous exchange ke baad immediately isko bahar nikal diya this is another, uh, this is the in trichogaster, this is the labyrinthine organ, this is single in number, and this is developing, these are the uh, normal gill arch one and two, in between from the gill arch one, it is this labyrinthine organ is developing. That is, uh, this is the simple labyrinthine organ that this is the single labyrinthine organ in case of trichogaster that acts as the this is sac like structure acts for the storage of uh, air. Then are uh, the dendritic third type of uh, diverticula from pharynx are dendritic arborescent. This is arborescent. 
arborescent organs. They are the dendritic organs that uh, have this. This is the structure. It is very evident here. We have already seen um, uh, in the uh, previous uh, slide also. These gill arches they are forming into dendritic structures like this. बहुत सारे इस तरह से develop हो जाते हैं. And these are these folded uh, folds are increasing. The the rosette बिल्कुल फूल की तरह ये दिखते हैं. And these are forming the arborescent organs or the dendrites. These uh, consists of a uh, suprabranchial chamber. This is the suprabranchial chamber. The the rosettes or the uh, arborescent organs. Then are uh, these are the fans, respiratory fans, and the respiratory membrane. All together, these uh, four uh, parts they together perform as the accessory. Uh, respiratory system in case of clarius batrachus clarius i think aapko some uh, you must be knowing jo general bhasha mein jisko magur bol kehte hain jo sluggish animal hai now this is the uh, accessory breathing organ in mud fish this is another opercular cavity bulge is the this is another type of accessory respiratory system that in the list we have seen दर्कुलर कैविटी बल्जेज आउट यहाँ पे एक फोटोग्राफ मैंने दिया है जिसमें यह बलून की तरह का स्ट्रक्चर आपको दिख रहा होगा ये अपरकुलम की जो कैविटी है उसमें हवा भर करके बलून की तरह फुला के रखता है ये फिश थोड़ी देर के लिए और इस फोल्डिंग दोनों साइड में रहेगा लेफ्ट एंड राइट साइड में और उस दौरान थोड़ी जितनी देर के लिए यह हवा इसमें स्टोर होकर के रहता है उतनी देर में गैसेस एक्सचेंज होता है जो यहाँ का वैस्कुलर सप्लाई है यहाँ के जो कैविटी बक्कल कैविटी का जो एरिया है बक्को फिंगल कैविटी का एरिया है वहाँ की वैस्कुलर सप्लाई से ऑक्सीजन को एक्सट्रैक्ट इन कर लेते हैं कर लिया जाता है एंड दिस एयर सैक कम्पोज ऑफ वेस्कुलर एंड नॉन वेस्कुलर एरियाज है सरफेस एरिया ड्यूरिंग रेस्पिरेशन fish inhales air enters the suprabranchial chamber through the inhalant aperture and is passed into tubular sac after gas exchange air is expelled by external branchial opening so this is the accessory respiratory organ now these are the different forms kis tarah se ye tubular sac hai ye heteropneus mein ye continue hota hai air sacs ki tarah ye sara hum log dekh chuke hain ye caudal fin hai लिपिडोसाइरन का पेल्विक फिन जो हाईली वेस्कुलराइज हो गया इन कूचिया द सिंपल एयर सैक इज हियर इन एनाबस दिस इज द लेबरथाइन ऑर्गन हैज डेवलप्ड एंड देन इन इलेक्ट्रिक ई द वेस्कुलराइज एपिथेलियल लेयर ऑफ हैज सर्विंग एज द एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स आर द स्विम ब्लैडर और एयर ब्लैडर these are found in many of the fishes kahin par ye gill ko support karte hain kahin ye buoyancy ke liye kaam karte hain khaas taur se teleos mein ye buoyancy equilibrium ke liye highly increase metabolism ko help karte hain aur kahin kahin par ye accessory respiratory organs ki tarah bhi kaam karte hain these are found in polyp polypterus amia lepidosteus gymnarchus and dipnoe it is highly vascular and compartmentalized into alveoli and saculi to function as a lung in dipnoe as a lung in dipnoe dipno this is the uh, air sac this is a very highly diagrammatic bahut khoobsurat sa ek diagram mila jisko this is the air sac this air sac occupies the different uh, conditions but uh, jahan par ye uh, एयर सप्लाई रेस्पिरेशन को एड करता है वहां इट इज हाईली वेस्कुलराइज दैट वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट राम यहाँ पे आप अभी मैं दिखाऊंगी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में नाउ इन लंग फिशेज इन डिपनोई दैट वी विल सी इन द लास्ट स्लाइड दैट डिपनोई में लंग फिशेज में ये मॉडिफाइड स्विम ब्लैडर है जिसको कि बहुत हाईली वेस्कुलराइजेशन मिल जाता है अदरवाइज दे आर द स्टोर स्टोरिंग एयर स्टोरिंग सैक्स ज्यादातर ये स्टोरिंग सैक्स की तरह काम करते हैं वेस्कुलराइजेशन यहाँ पर भी होता है और एक गैशियस एक्सचेंज होता है स्विम ब्लैडर एक्ट एज लंग दिस एयर ब्लैडर और स्विम ब्लैडर एक्ट एज अ लंग इन एमिया एंड लिपिसोस्टियस द वॉल ऑफ स्विम ब्लैडर इज सेक्यूलेटेड रिजेंबलिंग अ लंग इसमें बहुत बार अल्बियोलाई की तरह बहुत वॉल 
it becomes alveolated in this form like and giving uh, the appearance of uh, the lung alveoli and in this way the uh, the lung is respiratory in function during aestivation because the gills become useless during this period uh, in polypterus jo ek uh, uh, jo high summer uh, time mein aestivation mein chala jata hai that is summer sleep ki condition mein hota hai to sara hi metabolic activities band ho jate hain us dauran ye jo ek accessory respiratory system hai prebranchial arteries uh, टाइप ऑफ डिप्नोआ डिप्नो एंड फिश दीज द वेंट्रल पार्ट गिव्स ऑफ सेवरल फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शन द डॉर्सल साइड ऑफ द गैस ब्लाडर पॉजिज स्पेशलाइज स्ट्रेटेड मसल्स सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट मॉडिफिकेशन इन द स्विम ब्लाडर एंड और द एयर ब्लाडर ऑफ दिस इज अ सिंगल एयर ब्लाडर ऑफ अ टीलियोस फिश दैट इज हैविंग बायलोब एयर ब्लाडर this is uh, the swim bladder here or the gas bladder in which the gas is filled and that helps uh, there uh, it is having a pneumatic duct a pneumatic duct get through it this is the pneumatic duct through which uh, esophagus uh, may khulta hai and it and it gulps air through the esophagus and uh, helps in accessory respiratory part so uh, these are the uh, the this is the explanation the anterior part extends into a projection to the a, ear ear uh, auditorium region mein a tympanum ke region tak extend karta hai an artery arising from the dorsal aorta forms a network of blood capillaries that spread the entire inner surface of the abdominal and cecal part of the swim bladder these are the anal and cecal part of the swim bladder पूरे इसमें वेस्कुलराइजेशन है ब्लड कैपिलरीज रन करते हैं द ब्लड कैपिलरीज कवर अ सिंगल एपिथीलियल लेयर हेल्प्स इन गैशियस एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द ब्लड एंड द एयर ऑफ द स्विम ब्लैडर दिस एयर ब्रीदिंग हैबिट इज कंसिडर्ड एज सेकेंडरी अडाप्टेशन इन दीज स्पेशल now these are the uh, this is the details i have got interesting what itna details itna uh, in accessory respiratory system aap de sakti hai ki nahi ye lung fishes mein ye swim bladder aur lung kis tarah kaam karte hain kis tarah se inka this is the heart these diagrams i have given you these uh, helps uh, with the help of these you can extend your answer as much you have capacity ye uh, dual respiration in dipnoe these are the different forms of dipnoe or the lung fishes and it is uh, showing here this is the heart and dual respiration kaise hota hai this is the heart double double chambered heart is the oxygen ye uh, kaise through the gills and through the lungs air uh, uh, respiration kaise ho raha hai this is the uh, estivation ke dauran jab uh, summer sleep mein hai fish तो किस तरह से रेस्पायर करता है एंड दैट इज द फोर्स सबमर्शन जब uh, उसे पानी में जाना होता है तो किस तरह से वाटर uh, रेस्पिरेशन ज्यादा एक्टिवेट uh, हो जाता है और एरियल रेस्पिरेशन इज सबसाइडेड देन तो डिटेल्स यू कैन सी हियर द कोर्स ऑफ सर्कुलेशन दिस इज द हार्ट दीज आर द ब्लड सप्लाई दिस इज दू द बॉडी दिस इज द लंग हियर यू कैन सी this is another um, uh, explanation diagrammatic representation these are the these are the gill arches 1 2 3 this uh, actually 4th uh, 5th and 6th gill arches they convert they develop they uh, uh, modify into the so called lung this is the so called lung the, this this is the double uh, chambered heart and this is the water supply how from the gills water enters then it reaches the lungs 
uh, there from there it reaches the body muscles then comes back to the heart the uh, the this red color and the blue color shows the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood so these are uh, the the rip diagramic diagrammatic representation sorry the that is uh, i found very interesting so i have just included with the details it uh, you can uh, take through uh, uh, these slides if you get time if you are interested because in other uh, another class if you ask the details we can discuss this these two slides in uh, another class or another video if required now to sum up it is too much long it has become the functions of accessory respiratory organs the accessory respiratory organs contain high percentage of oxygen the fishes possessing such respiratory organs are capable of living in water where oxygen concentration is very low benthic uh, fishes mein jo uh, the bottom uh, uh, living rather uh, keh sakte hain hum जहाँ जो बॉटम नीचे के लेयर्स में सब रिवर्स में या फ्रेश वाटर में रहते हैं या ऑक्सीजन कम हो जाता है समर सीजन में तो उस दौरान एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स बहुत हेल्प करते हैं वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स व्हाट आर द मेन पर्पसेस ऑफ द एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स और इट इज वेल अंडरस्टूड कि अगर ऑक्सीजन uh, की सप्लाई प्रॉपर नहीं मिलेगी तो फिशेज ना तो जी पाएंगे ना ठीक से एक्टिविटी शो करेंगे इट हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व दैट रेट ऑफ ऑब्जॉर्बन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन सच ऑर्गन इज मच हायर दैन द रेट ऑफ एलिमिनेशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड का एलिमिनेशन का एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन उतना ज्यादा सपोर्ट नहीं करते हैं जितना ऑब्जॉर्बन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन में सपोर्ट करते हैं तो मेन फंक्शन may be considered as the absorption of oxygen of these uh, accessory respiratory organs then is the significance of accessory res uh, respiratory organs there are two views uh, have been given for the uh, significances significance is very much evident evident in ke normal living ke liye inko support karne ke liye इनको माइग्रेशन करने के लिए बहुत सारे फिशेस माइग्रेटरी फिशेस होते हैं जो टाइम टू टाइम अपने आप को लैंड से एक्सकर्ट करते हैं बाय दे हैव टू एक्सकर्ट टू द अन अदर स्पॉट्स एंड ड्यूरिंग दो टाइमिंग द दिस एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स द हेल्प सो द फर्स्ट व्यू अकॉर्डिंग टू द फर्स्ट व्यू वॉट मे कुड हैव गिवेन टू द एमरजेंस ऑफ एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी स्ट्रक्चर्स डेवलपमेंट दो व्यूज हैं किस तरह से एमर्ज किया होगा पॉसिबल रीजन फर्स्ट इज नेचुरल इंस्टिंग टू मेक शॉर्ट एक्सकर्शन टू दैंड फ्रॉम प्राइमरिक होम दैट इज माइग्रेटरी फिशेज उनका ये हैबिट ही होता है एंड सेकेंड व्यू होल्ड दैट फिशेज आर फोर्स टू असेंड द लैंड विन द ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट ऑफ वॉटर फॉल्स टू कंसिडरेबल एक्सटेंट इन इसके हिसाब से उन्हें जाना पड़ता है वो शौक से नहीं जाते हैं पहले व्यू के हिसाब से इट इज देयर हैबिट टू माइग्रेट सेकंड व्यू से इज दैट इट इज इट मे बी कंसिडर्ड एज एन एडाप्टेशन टू द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द टाइम सो दैट दिस हैबिट ऑफ सॉलोइंग बबल्स ऑफ एयर इज ऑब्जर्व इन मेनी बोनी फिशेस बोनी फिशेस में बहुत ज्यादा uh, ये देखा गया है टीलियोस्ट में दिस एयर ब्लैडर और एयर ब्रीडिंग हैबिट इज एयर ब्लैडर्स और स्विम ब्लैडर्स इन एडिशन टू एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन दे हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग बायसी ऑल्सो दे आर लिविंग इन शैलो वाटर विद ड्राइज अप पीरियोडिकली और बिकम्स फाउल बाई द डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ एक्विटिक वेजिटेरियन वेजिटेशन वेजिटेशन की वजह से ऑक्सीजन डिप्लीशन जब बहुत बढ़ जाता है ऑक्सीजन की डिफिशियंसी बढ़ जाती है तो उस दौरान भी ये एक्वेटिक एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स बहुत हेल्प करते हैं द एयर ब्रीदिंग हैबिट फॉर अ कंसिडरेबल स्पैन ऑफ टाइम द फिशेज हैव डेवलप्ड स्पेशलाइज्ड एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन इन एडिशन टू दीज गिल्स द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सच एक्सेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन इज एसेंशियली अडाप्टिव इन नेचर to meet the respiratory respiratory need and thus enables the fishes to tolerate oxygen depletion in water or to live on land over a varying period of time now this uh, accessory re respiratory system also may have some evolutionary significances as well 
so with this i end this topic it has become too long i think i hope this will be helpful to you thank you so do subscribe share and like the channel if you like it uh, press the bell icon to get notified for uh, the upcoming uh, videos thank you thank you so much students i hope it it must be helpful for you